Hello everyone and welcome to Kempo Moms Gaming. I am Kempo Mom. Hello, hello, and we are continuing in Riven. Now the last uh what do you call it? Uh video that we had. Um I actually did a video from the beginning. We did Temple Island, Jungle Island, Crater Island, and Plateau Island. Okay. So now we are going back to Crater Island. That's gonna be our first thing, and then we're just gonna go from there, okay? So, uh, let's go. Okay. So, we're going to call this back, and we're going to go back to Crater Island. It does take a while. Sorry. It's like, oh, oh. here it comes. When I see the, like, the pixelation, I go to Hey, you may enter. Okay. Okay, let's go. And kind of turn it around. have arrived okay so we're supposed to go back to crater so I'm gonna hit hit this okay now this is really bizarre but gonna hit this. We actually come out of the jaws of something. We'll be, you'll be seeing this again. All right. So if you want to know what the jaws you come out of, it's this, this big, the wark, I guess, or the fish. Okay. So we're gonna go through. Now you see this little child. Falls, falls down and you can follow the child but you know it's it's not worth it really because we're going back to crater so open this oh wait a minute I forgot something hold on so there's a there's a beetle here Yeah, see, the reason why you touch the beetle is because it makes a noise. All right, anyway, there's something here, I think, hold on, that I missed. Yeah, right here. So this big knife, go in there, and there's a little thing here, and you're going to take this thing. <laughs> okay, you hear that noise? Kind of like it. I said it sounds like a pig. Alright. Now eventually, yeah, we'll get all those. Alright. I knew I forgot something, so I just wanted to make sure I did it. Okay. Now we're going to go back. And we go to this side because we're going to ride the mine shaft again. Let's have some fun, shall we?
that you have I like roller coasters. They need to make some roller coasters like this. Back on Crater Island. All right. It's dark. This is the coolest, like one of the coolest rides besides the uh, what do you call it, the Magma. So, we do the same thing. Uh, yeah. We go in here. Now remember we already, like, Mom forgot to take the water out, remember? But, yeah. So, it, it, pretty much after you solved it, it doesn't go back to where it was. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Here, up here, down. I'm gonna go through here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I see where we're going. All right, I'm gonna go through the shaft again. Go into his lab. Uh, go this way. Uh, is it this door? Let me try. No, it's not that door. Okay. I messed up. It's the other door. It's always the, I always pick the wrong door. Uh, this one? Yeah, okay, we're exactly where I need to be. See the big dome? That's where I want to go. All right, so we're gonna go towards the dome, up the stairs, because remember we lifted the stairs. Oh, no, we didn't, so we're gonna do this. I thought, yeah, that's good. That's good. I forgot we have to do that there. Okay. Um, I believe we have to lift the stairway. Hold on. I don't know, we gotta do this. Okay, and I'm trying to remember this by, by heart here. You go in here. Oh, yeah, uh, no. Okay, hold on. I messed up. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we gotta go this way where that raised area was. Then we go here, right here. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. There it goes. That's why I forgot. And now we gotta go. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. See, I get confused here. Oh, okay. All right. We're, 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 we're at the right place. Okay. Hold on. Here we 
go. All right, we're on our we're on track. That's why I forgot. Okay, so you go along here, and we're gonna if you can hit that. Open that. Okay, then we're gonna go back out here. Then we're gonna move the room two times. Yeah, this is a, it's really tedious when you get to this uh, part. It's now on Temple Island and it's like, uh, we have to like do this again. All right, and then we hit one more time. Now it should lead us to that bridge that we raised, okay? That's where it should. See, there it is, okay? Okay, let's go up the bridge. All right, you're at this like press and colored marbles, okay? See all the colored marbles? Now the colors represent the islands that you saw in, that th in the thing. And if you don't know where the marbles go, you can follow this video and it would help you, okay? Now, um, the blue one, you can actually, oh, you have to hold it. The blue one's going to go up in this section because this is the prison island, so two from the top right there, okay? Then you're going to hit the green one. Green one's going to go here. See, if you look at the lines, see they represent all the islands, see? All these little sections. Uh, the pink one, it's not purple, it's pink, um, is going to go here. The orange, not the red, or yellow, the orange, is going to go here. And the red is going to go here. Now, I believe this is the uh, where the, what do you call it? The, um, you'll see, the uh, turn things are where the books are located. All right, so when you feel you had it right... You're gonna turn around, one step, turn around, and then there's a little lever, lever here, you're gonna press that, that's gonna lower that. Okay, lock it in. All right. And then you're gonna press the white button. Now, if you hear it like whirring, then you did it right. There you go. I suppose I did it right. I don't know. But if you hear that, I believe you did it right. Um, this is gonna... Uh, wait. Yeah, I hear it go... Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Um, this is going to power up all the linking books. Okay. All right. Uh, what you're going to do is come back out again. Here we go again, right? And, uh, da, 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 da. Three times. Okay, so three times. One. I don't remember all this stuff. I have to uh, read the guide. I mean, if I do this enough times, I'd probably, like, memorize it. But... The only thing I kind of memorized were the marbles, man. <laughs> okay, two. The spinning of the, uh, of the, this thing, it's, it's hard to remember. And then one more time, three. Okay. 
All right, so we go through again. All right, uh, I think we go this way. No, not that way. I have to remember which way to go. No, it's not that way. Wrong way, Mom. Yeah, you hear the whirring? I'm trying to remember which way I'm supposed to go. No, it's not that way, Mom. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. See this spinning thing right here? That's the location of the fire marbles. They, they're, they're wherever this, these spinning domes are. And you're going to see why. All right. I'm like, okay. I'm like, why am I confused? All right, here we go. Okay, right before you go in here, right, turn, hit this. Man, that's, that's one noisy elevator <laughs> or lift. Okay, uh, you're gonna go this way. And we're at the spinning dome. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna hit this, and what, I mean, you have to wait till it's like gold, but see how it like does it? All I do is I just keep pressing it until it stops. There it goes. That's the easiest way to do it. Trying to like time it, way too long. And then it flips. Okay, these are the linking books. All right, now, you're gonna go forward, and here's a little thing, see it's locked in here. Now, remember those little symbols that we wrote down in Gein's uh, lab that were in his book? Well, you're gonna have to figure out what the numbers are. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, if anyone has an issue or you don't know how to figure out the numbers, uh, you can, you know, DM me or whatever and I'll give you, uh, or you can look it up and just say uh, Riven numbers and you can actually get an image of which numbers which, or you can figure it out because they say if they rotate 90 degrees they change, okay? So I wrote down the numbers. Now what you got to do, okay, is I move all these to the, this end, okay? Now. Then you're gonna put in the numbers. And if you do it right, it'll work. Wait a minute. If I do it wrong, it won't work. Okay, please. Yeah, it worked. I got it right. So now we're inside the dome. And then the book raises. All right, now where we're going, we're going, we're going to Gein's 233rd age. So it's where Gein is. So we gotta go there, okay? So that's what this number means, 233rd. Right, so we're gonna go there. Pretty spooky, huh? That whirring just drives me nuts. But I have to wait till my hand shows up. So you're gonna see where Guyton lives. There he is, in this big age with this little, like, satellite temple. Come on, hand, show up. in a cage. Oh, I hit the call button. Duh! I'm sitting there going around. There he is. You have to hit the call button. I was figuring something was wrong. I was like, why is he coming out? Man. 
There he is. I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. I assume oh, you've heard of me. Gen, whatever. Yes. Potato, potato. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atreus. It's just that... It's the Atreus, that's well, his father. I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. The twisted, twisted. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father, indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Twist it, twist it. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks, no ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. Blah, blah, blah. But I have changed. Mm. It's pretty twisted when you have your own dad trying be to... Be sure, the you. deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for. But my mission was an honorable one. Now, just to let you know, he smokes like frogs. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I... It's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade anyone of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. Blah, blah, blah. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Yada, yada, yada. Atris's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in... Well... I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. Yeah, but remember we saw In any Catherine. society, there will always be a uh, small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature but I'd almost come to accept their presence. It seemed inevitable under the circumstances. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems Why, she's become some sort of religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Oh, I'm the Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atris desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state.
I know that you arrived in the fifth age with a book which was immediately stolen from you. Yep. Needless to say, its reacquisition is of interest to me, though my personal history with the moiety does not give me much hope for it. Still, there is a chance you might somehow okay. manage to retrieve it. If you do, I would ask for the safety of all concerned that you bring it to me at your earliest opportunity. Again, to be honest, my reasons here are partly selfish. There is so much yet to be resolved between Atris and myself, uh -huh. especially in light of what has become of Catherine. In any case, my immediate concern is the completion of the sanctuary I've long promised to all the islanders. In the meantime, as a token of my good intentions, of my steam, I will allow you see. free access to my linking books, crude though they may be, and to the rest of the fifth age. Back out, I guess he's going back out into the harsh outside. As for the stolen linking book, we should probably not meet again until you've recovered it. I will know if you succeeded and will await your return. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your search. I hope to see you back here shortly. Yeah, whatever, dude. Go have fun outside. And there he goes. I don't know what he does out there, really. All right, that was his nice speech. Now, uh, as soon as I get my hand back. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, what you gotta do. Uh, let me see make sure okay you're gonna go to the one that has the most squares which is this one I believe Hold on. yeah okay so you're gonna go back to jungle island this is where this goes and now the linking books work yeah this is jungle island okay so this is where we're going back so we're going back to jungle island again There's the uh, dome that we're gonna come out of. I think they call them like fire domes, but you know. As soon as I get my hand, then I'll go in. Here we go. Press the button, and you know, if you look around, I'm like, oh, I'm trapped. You press the button. Then I'll open and lock it. And the code is going to work for all of them from now on. Okay? So all of them from now on, the code will work. So don't worry about, like, oh my gosh, not the, you know, do I have to find the code again? No, they're all going to work for them. But remember that every time you play this game, the code changes. So, like, the code that I'm using, you can, like, memorize where I put the little things, but it's not going to work for you, okay? Because it, it changes all the time. All right. Uh, oh yeah, there. I was like, why did it stop? Yeah, that little alarm over there to the right. That's the villagers sending alarm. There's a stranger. There's a stranger. Hi. Okay, so you're going to go in here. And... He's gonna sit in this weird chair. Hold on, let me make sure. All right, and you're gonna hit this lever here. Isn't this weird? So you're wondering why they have like these thrones and everything. There's the village. They live in these little pod things. All right, and then if you look down, there's this opening right here. You want to close that, so you're going to hit this. Okay. 
so you hit the right, and then we're gonna hit the left. That's all you have to do with that, because you have to hit that, you have to close that little gap, because it doesn't help you. Okay. Let me make sure. All right. Go out. This is creepy. Uh, I think I go back down here. Go here. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. It's hard to see. Gosh, what the heck? Here, 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 here. Oh, there it is. Hit the lever. Take it down. Okay, we're going through the same, we're in the same elevator that we came out when we uh, got off the uh, Moglev. Same elevator. a villager right there that alerts you but I think they alerted us already so you're gonna go through the village and there's a little kid over there if you could see it right see everybody will run see everybody's running see everybody at the top they're taken off and then here comes mom grabs a kid let's go Strangers. Okay. So all that movement up there that you saw like someone here and then someone here. And then their kid was here. They're all leaving. You don't have to worry about that. You're not going to be talking to them or anything like that. Alright, so. You're going to go up these ladders, I believe. If you knock on the, the door, he won't. they won't answer. Hold on. Okay. Go here, 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 up the ladder. And you go to the submarine thingy. You're gonna push that and lower into the ground. All right. Uh. Okay, so you're gonna go back where you went. I had to read. All right, uh, this way, this way. I'm trying to think, guys. Back through the village. Go through here. Don't go through the gate. Go, I think you go straight this way. Uh, maybe not. Okay, hold on. I messed up. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. It gets confusing. This is the way I went in. Uh, let me follow this. Okay, I did go the right way. All right, now. 
When I go down to the bottom, you're going to see two, like, bird fish things, I, I guess. And you got to take a mental note of that. I'm um, trying to remember what they're called. I think they're called sunners. So you're going to see two of them when I go down here. See them right here? And you just watch them, let them go away. But they, yeah, now they see you. They're like, nope. You hear the, that's what, that's the pig noise. It's actually called a sunner. And then they swim off into the ocean. Later. Okay. So what you do is go, you're going to go down here. Where are, where's the opening? Gosh, darn it. Sometimes it's weird. You have to. There, uh, here, here, okay, there we go. All right. The reason why I'm doing this is because there is a thingy here. So you hit that and make a note. Okay. It helps you in the long run. All right. Uh, go back, go back up, back up on the trail. Uh, okay, this is the weird thing. Okay, yeah, uh, is this the way? Yeah, I think this is the way. Go, where did I just... Down, there we go. Alright, this is another one. That's the beetle sound. Okay. Uh, and then if you, I think if you put water in here, it makes a, a shape. Yeah. It'll make a shape. So you kind of take a mental note of it. Okay, that's the beetle. Okay. All right. Come on. We've, we've already done it. Okay. Uh, this way? Wait a minute. Which way do I go? Down the ladder. Down the ladder. Through here, and there's the submarine, okay? So we're gonna be using the submarine system right now. All right, um, let me see. I'm just making sure. Okay. Get into the submarine. Okay, uh... Okay, so this turns the sub, I believe. We have to turn it. And there's a sub system underneath, which is pretty weird. Okay, and then, uh... Okay, you use this to move. I was gonna say, am I stuck? Crap. Okay, when we reach the floor, make sure the level, level, the lever's on the right, which is this one. This is the lever that turns the uh, sub to each track. So you're gonna be on the right, and then you're gonna move again. This is cool. See, I always thought this game was so awesome because of you get to move in di on different, like, vehicles. Okay, now. Once that thing goes quick. Good. Here we go. Thank you. Gosh, it takes forever. Alright. So we're gonna go out. Okay, there's a thing that we have to do here. Turn around. Make sure that I went the right way. Yeah, I did. Okay. So all these switches, make sure they're on the on position. They're up. They're all up. Just like that. Okay. Then you just go back down. You can look out if you want to look and go, oh. 
So you see the submarine system? All right. Back down we go. Turn around. Uh, let me make sure. Okay. So we go back in this room, turn it around. going to each part so you know um, which way to go. Alright, hit that. Go back on the thing. Whee! Okay, we come to go forward. Okay, now. Here, okay, this stops. Now we're going to turn this to the left. We're gonna go up this way. Hit the thing. Whee! This is the, like the slow part. Very slow. It goes up the hill, takes forever. Alright, once it stops, we're gonna exit. And then I'm gonna show you something that kinda of, it will help you. Trust me. Okay. Now, technically, you don't have to stop here if you already know about it, but I'm just doing it so we can go through everything. This is a schoolhouse. Okay, so you're going to go in there. This is a school. Okay, now, if you go to here, this teaches you the number system. It's like hangman, but with a fit with a fish and the guy going, I guess he's gonna be the meal. And if you turn this and it stops one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's that's seven. So it'll teach you what these symbols mean. Okay? So you can do that if you want, but you know. And I'm figuring this is their alphabet. But the weird thing is, if you go to this thing right here, watch what happens when I wind it up. It's going. Terekoi dani, ki ba yem rivat, al royem be tik tavom, ga bodona gayem. So basically, he's like some kind of like figure Rob. in this age of Riven. Okay, and it stops. All right, let's. Okay, there's my hand. Okay. So basically, yeah, and then you over here is just some writing and food or something. I don't know what that is. Because I don't read it. Okay. Where is the door? There it is. Okay, so you don't have to stop here if you don't want. But if you want to learn the number system, that's, that's a good way to learn it. Because you're going to need it. Remember those symbols that we had to write down? So you're going to need it. Okay. So they call it the deny. Deny number system. All right, so... All right. Now, we have to make sure this is in the left position, which it is. We're going to turn it around. Again. It's like, man, how many times? Okay, move forward. We all live in... Sorry, I'm not gonna get DMCA. So you know, you know where I was going with that. All right, we're at another junction now. You may, like I said, make sure that lever is on the left. So it's on the left, and then we go forward again. isn't it? All 
for us. I think we're we, where we need to be. Okay, so let's get out of this stupid thing. Alrighty. Nice blue sky. I love it. Okay, remember this little thing that we had to fix? Okay, there's a reason because you're going to have to stand on it. Oh, did I mess up? Yeah, I did. Hold on. I think I went too far. Okay, let me go back here. Turn around. Okay, hit this thing. And you'll see something fall. Okay, when it stops, you're going to click on it. There we go. Watch. Here we go. Whee! And we're here at a bridge. Okay. Now we're going to go forward. And you see there's somebody in this prison right here. But once you release them... So you have to hit that little thing. And it's going to open the prison. Okay. This is going to be... See, now he's gone. <laughs> it's like, where'd he go? Okay, hit that drain, touch the water, there's a lever in there, hit, it clicks. There it goes, open the passageway. Nice. Okay, then we're gonna go through, it's gonna be very dark, just keep clicking. Get to the water, screw that light on, turn around, and now you're gonna go to each light and touch it. Touch this one, touch this one, touch that one, and you're good. Okay, so now you gotta go back and see the door and that. Because you couldn't see the door because it was dark. Okay, now you're in this weird room. Alright, this weird room. Okay, now. We are going to go into the next age. Which is the Mor Moretti that he told you. This is the key. I, I know how to get in there, okay? So the first one is you have to click these... Uh, what do you call it? These pictures, and each picture represents what you heard on certain on those some of those things. Okay, so I'm trying to find the picture. That's the first one. First one is this one. So you're gonna click that one. Okay. Second one is this one. Click that. That's the beetle. So it's like the fish, the beetle. Um, got around. Around. Where is it? Is that the one? No, that's not the one. Uh, I'm trying to find a certain picture. There it is. The frog. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Where are you? Right here. The center, which was that urn thing. Hit that. And the work, which is that weird fish. I think it's this one. Yep. This should open. You're going to see some water. There it goes. The water, I think, dissipates or drains. Yeah, drains. Yeah, see, it's running on the sides. Hoodie! A book. 
the Moriarty, so we're gonna uh, touch that, and we're gonna go to that age. Isn't it cool? So that's like the picture of Riven. As soon as I get my hand back, then we'll click on it. Takes forever. Yeah, we know. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay, now, since. Oh. Oh. I got darted. Great. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Damn it. So you get darted and knocked out. kind of wake up and you're going towards that big ball thing or tree. It's like, look! Killing me. Oh. You're like, huh? <laughs> All drugged up. Uh, whatever, dude. You probably think you're dreaming or something, right? What? Where in the heck? Okay, so you wake up, and it looks like you're in somewhere. Let's see. We're in prison. <laughs> Great. Okay, I get it. I get it. Come on. Give me my hand back. I don't know. It's, I don't like what it does. Oh. You see, oh, someone walked out. Okay. Someone, okay, someone walked out over there. All right. So what you're going to do is just wander around your cave, the, your prison cave for a while until someone comes in. There we go. Now, I understand the word Katarina, that's Catherine. Oh, there's the book that, that they stole. Okay, so she gave some kind of a journal and uh, your, uh, the book that they stole. So you know it was the Moriarty that stole the book. All right, now, if I go through here, this is something that you have to take down. Let me um, get on my page here. I have so many pages in my book. Um, all right, so this is something that you do have to take down because there's going to be a number uh, sequence in here. So you just keep going. You can read through all this if you want. When I see the numbers and I write that down. Um, da -dum, da -dum. She just basically is talking about the different, what Gain's been doing. I think, she, okay, this is what she's referring to. See, the star fisher. Okay, there's the key, okay? So you're going to write that down. I'm making a note of it right now. I, I got to see if it's the same as the other one, but I don't think it is. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. So it's completely different. So each game that you play, it's going to be different. So I'm just, I'm writing it down. Then I'll get the numbers after. All right. 
There you go. So it tells you how to do the fisher, which this is going to come into, uh, it's going to come into play. Trust me. Okay. And then that's the book that was taken from you. Okay. Now she's coming back in, I think. Okay, a book. Now, Katarina, we see for Polo. Yes, Katarina, that's Catherine. That's the only thing I can understand. All right. So, we're going to be touching that book, and you'll see why. Okay, let's go forward. We go back, look. We're gonna go back to the room where we were at. So hit that, and you're back in the room. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video here because now we're gonna put all these pieces together and uh, get to the ending. There are many endings. I'm only gonna do the main ending and then maybe I'll do a video of the other endings. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i do like a separate video. I think there's like five endings or something like that. But we're just gonna go the, do the true ending and then I'll go through the other endings, okay? All right, anyway, guys, you know what to do. Hit that like button, helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also hit the subscribe and the bell so you know when I upload. I hope you're enjoying this journey in, in Riven and I will see you in the next video. All right, guys? Bye all. <laughs>